Beautifully bowled, and it's got through to Boucher. Yes, and out. There wasn't a great deal of consistency in that uh, in that appeal. Boucher sort of held it up, and he, he can he has been known to throw it very very high. But uh, we'll soon see. Empire. Well, the Heinz isn't convinced. Wow. There's a bit of width and he's dragged it on, would you believe it? Pollock strikes again. And it's Gale now who makes his way back to the pavilion. Certainly not the best of starts for the West Indies. God, I think he just suspected that this might have gone a bit further than it did. You can see that it hit the inside edge. He was expecting that ball to continue moving. Good shot. That's a very good shot. That's well in front of square on the leg side for four. Well played. Slightly short from Donald. It's in the air. Sean Pollock is uh, going back pretty slowly. It's a very, very good shot. It's gone all the way for six. That one. That is a terrific shot. very good shot and it's gone for four so that's well played just slightly wide slightly short from Callis and Lara's punished that it's driven through extra cover with power from Lara Callis not pleased but no bowler is called for two and he's gonna get at least two in fact he's gonna get four more wonderful timing from the West Indian champion. It's a great shot from Lara. He won't have to chase that. That's another great shot. And we'll go for four. 49 runs in the last 10 overs and four off the first ball of the 11th, if you like, in that sequence. And really, Brian Lara on fire now. Quicker ball. This time he uh, gets it away, fairly fine for four, so that's a good shot, and what a good over by the West Indies. They'll be very, very pleased with that. 12 runs from the over, 30 gone, 105 for two. Now there's a nick, I think, there certainly was a noise, they've all gone up, and yes, so has the finger for umpire Daryl Harper. Chevron Chandapur goes, Lance Clues is the man that's picked him up, and a good catch, bit of extra bounce, a very good catch from Mark Boucher. Keeper. Good ball, it bounced a bit awkwardly at Jim Ryan the pole. You can see him there opening the face, trying to steer it down to the third man region. Uh, Fiercely struck, and somehow Antini gets out of the way because that would have carried him and the ball to the boundary. That was a fair shot by Lara. It came like a shot from a gun. There's Klusner. Resumes to Lara, and Lara is punched away for four. That's a fine shot by the left-hander. Just enough width, just short enough of length, and he found the gap and put it away for four. And that's going all the way. That's gone for six. Well, I said it a while ago, and I'll say it again. Vintage Lara. He just flicked it. And there it is. Brian Lara puts his signature immediately on the 2003 World Cup and not only West Indians in the crowd but everyone around this Newland Stadium standing to a man and uh, appreciating what has been a tremendous innings, a vital innings for the West Indies from a tremendous batsman. just whipped away that could be caught and it is Jack Callis is 28 for 4 well this could be out should be out it's gone for the big hit and it's caught in the end by Sean Pollock the captain but I thought for a minute we've got it wrong Brian Lara his innings comes to an end it's been magnificent compelling viewing Played quite magnificently in the end, out to a good uh, catch from Sean Pollock. He was telling Lance Kuzner to get away from him, but took his eyes off the ball and in the end had to dive forward. 116 for Brian Lara, 215 for five. Oh, 
that's clubbed away and that's gone all the way came down the wicket and was just baseballed it over mid wicket yes yeah, over left field for a home run well that's smashed straight down the ground for six more got a bow is saying let's have some fun that's beautifully placed as well this could be four more it is what a magnificent over for the West Indians 23 runs from Sean Pollock's ninth over eight overs two for 20 nine overs two for 43 it's 246 for five Ooh. whipped away but over the man at mid wicket and it's going to go for four this has got the makings of another very good over well it's a slow ball but it's been spotted and it's been clubbed a long way magnificent batting this really is you can't say that the South Africans have bowled that poorly well that's slashed away and that's four 50 overs gone 279 for five and when you consider that after 25 overs the West Indies were 67 for two 212 runs coming in the last 25 overs six nine Great shot, terrific shot, off the mark. It's a good shot, that is well played. Four runs, slightly short and punished. And he's caught behind, well taken by Jacobs. Deserving wicket for Dylan, and a big wicket for the West Indies. A good delivery, and Herschel Gibbs goes. Herschel Gibbs has gone for a brisk 24. It's 46 for one. That's a good shot. That is a very good shot. Back to that question in a minute. And that's a brilliant shot. And that's a good shot from Dippenau. It might go up into the stand. And it does. Oh, that could be close. Yes, he's walking. Brilliant comeback from Kyle Hooper. Just got it to drift away from the right-hander, thinking in the back of his mind, Dip and I, that he might go again. He just hit him for six. A little bit of lapse in concentration, and he's paid the penalty. Very clever bowling indeed. Down the... Just try something a little bit different. Came at him again, straight on, and he didn't even have to think about getting back. He tried to get his toe back over 20. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful strike. Oh, that's a great shot. That is a great shot. My goodness me, what style. Gone, good catch. Ricky Jakes was taking a... Callis looked for a smaller gap. He worked hard at it, but all he could get was an outside edge, and Ridley Jacobs takes his second diving catch. Collins is that for 13. Bottom edge, I think, chopped it on. Carl Hooper's done it. The quicker ball, the slider from him, smile as well. I'm not surprised. And Rhodes is on his way back to the village. Makes a movement. There, out he comes. No, he's going to go back. Cramped. Too close to cut. Good bowling by Hooper. Ridley Jacobs. In the air. There's a fieldsman there. He slipped. And it's gone over the top for six. Softest of dismissals. It's worked on the leg side. Well, they don't come much more gentle than that. It's 155 for five. Take it outside. That's another wicket. He's not going. Sean Pollock finally he has decided to go with it. the nod from the umpire. And that's a big nut. Scale. Sean Pollock goes yeah. for the drive. Carl Hooper, the captain, takes an excellent catch. Good hands, good catch. He's gone for four. It's 160 for six. It's up in the air. There's a man back there, but he isn't tall enough. And again. Big over this for South Africa. Four more to Boucher. 
It's got this one away. It's got past the short fine leg, but it will be cut off by the man back at uh, deep backward square leg who had to make 40, 50 yards to his left. Up comes the 200, greeted by this capacity crowd. Bowled him out, Boucher goes for 49 and surely to the match from a South African. Gale, fast, you're the perfect Boucher, not sure whether to sweep, drive or defend. He manages none, and the ball cannons in the leg. 204 for seven. Is he South Africa's last chance? This Klusner, he's got him, and he's gone. He's gone all the way. As Barry Richards was mentioning, this is a dangerous fella out there, Lance Klusner. The world knows it. The West Indies know it. That's a big one again. That's gone. That's even further. So a couple of sixes here by Lance Klusner. The Zulu. He's pulled that away and taken. He's taken down a deep backwards square leg. Kuzner's gone. Is that the match? Now let's see if he's gone onto the rope. The fielder is down there. They're going to investigate. Kuzner was on his way. He thought he had gone. Oh, I think he's okay. Is he? That's the one where he jumps and onto the rope. Pedro Collins, what are you doing? Things, casual work by Collins. That'll go for four. So the momentum now shifting towards South Africa. But the West Indies know here that all they need is a wicket. They still need 31 more, South Africa. Cruz has gone. That's another one. Gale's spell is finished with Kuzner's fifth six. It brings South Africa within 14 of their target. They need just uh, two overs now, 265 for seven. That's his 50, and what a way to get his 50. He raises his bat. South African flags flying all around the ground. Clapped away. It's going to go for six. It's taken. Carl Hooper it is in exactly the position that Vasper Drakes asked him to go to. All the West Indians are rushing to their captain. Now Makaya and Tini will have to come in, but the batsman crossed, so Nicky Boyer will have the strike, who has been in for some time. Still, eight required of three deliveries. Big battle. And one of them was a dot ball, and then this one, it swirled in the wind. And you see Carl Hooper there, kept his eyes on it all the way, and that's the position they should have had a man from almost the first ball. Klusner, but he's played really well, out for 57, 271 for eight. It's in the air, it's high, it could go for six or it could be caught, it is caught. So the West Indies have basically won the match as Sawan takes the catch and jubilant West Indians run out to embrace Ramnare Shawan as Makai Antini striking the ball in the air near six but near sixes don't count they're going to rue that moment where Lance Klusner didn't cross with Nicky Boyer a long way in fact only a yard or two from the boundary that's his hitting area I think in the air he might have thought it was going all the way and this is a good catch by Sawan judged it beautifully nearly made a mess of it but in the 271 for nine it's in the air, down towards fine leg. They've just got a run for it. No, it goes for four, but the West Indies have won it.